Hey guys, so I've been meaning to make this video for a long time now. It's basically like a tips and tricks type of video for this game. I get a lot of questions on like how to go fast and like what you're supposed to do to go faster and I always never really have an answer for them so I really try to think about what you should do to like go faster and what it takes. So I'm gonna like, I'm gonna break it down into a couple tips this video starting from easiest to hardest. I'm gonna start off with something that beginners should can do to get faster but you know pros should already know this stuff and then i'll get into the more complicated things like you know skimming and wheeling and stuff like that but for now i'm just gonna start off with whoop speed all right so for the whoops there's really not much of a technique here really all i'm trying to do is help the beginners out with just a little tip that if you use fifth gear in the whoops it's much faster Sometimes it's not that much faster, but it's always going to be a little bit faster. For example, on this Arlington track, it's not that much faster, but it's definitely faster. And if you do it on all whoop sections, for example, Seattle and stuff, you'll go much faster and have an advantage over people that do not do fifth gear whoops. For example, here, I'm following my ghost. I'm going to do the whoops in fourth gear, and you're going to see that my ghost pulls away just at the end a little bit. See? Fourth gear, and he's kind of pulling away. That's pretty much all I wanted to say for the whoops. So let's move on to the next tip. The next tip is gonna be gear choice. Now by this I mean you figuring out what gears you should use and when. It's not it's not easy to separate yourself from the competition in this game because it's definitely kind of an arcade type of game. It really takes a lot to put serious time be between you and some of the other best guys in the game. So the main thing, especially me, like whenever I wanna figure out how to do a track better, I don't worry about how I'm hitting lines, I'm worried about the gears I use. That's gonna create the biggest difference in whatever line you're going for. Like just doing a section of gear higher, gear lower, stuff like that, that I'm not gonna tell you like exactly which gear to use where because it really depends on the track you're doing and the gearing you use. Now for gearing, I really recommend use medium or short. I never use long. I don't really see when you should use long because it's really hard to get out of second and third gear when you use long gearing. But yeah, it's just like figuring out what gear to use. For example, if you use medium gearing, always use second gear in the corners, except sometimes you might want to use third if it's a high speed corner, you're coming in really fast. You could use first gear for flat corners, coming out of like tight turns, get that instant power. It really just depends. That's really just all it is to the gear. It's not really a tip, it's just a little heads up, you know, it should start practicing and stuff like that. All right, now this is a big one, getting the front end up. Now this, the, basically the reason you do this is to create more momentum. When you drop the front end, if you're looking at the clip right now, whenever I get that front end up and then drop it, it kind of jolts my character forward. And that's what we want. It keeps you low and jolty forward. So the way you do this is you approach your step on. It's do it on like step on and small jumps, like small doubles or triples. You approach it, you kind of get the front end up just before you're about to step on, and then you release your sticks. Right when I release the sticks, the front end will drop down. It's uh, it, it's not as hard as you, it seems. It does take a little bit of practice, but it definitely becomes second nature. Or however you say it, whatever. It becomes that eventually. It's, it's a very important thing you do because you could do it in lots of sections. You drop the front end and you could do so much with it. You could step on quicker. You could, it helps you stay low in sections. You normally wouldn't stay low by, by, by scrubbing. It's just really, it's a really key thing to do. If you watch any of like, the best guys in the game do their races and stuff, you notice they do this a lot. And it's for good reason. It's just, it, create, it gives you so much of an advantage over whoever's not doing it. I wish I had clips to show you of me doing it in the race, in races, but it definitely is just a huge advantage overall. And you a must learn if you wanna really start putting fast times in. A good track to practice is on is Oakland. It uh, has good lines, like this whole section here from the sand to the step-ons, you could literally do it on every single jump. And it's definitely one of my favorite sections in the game to practice on. And it's definitely how I learned it on this game. It's a lot of good fun. Real quick, I wanted to talk about the air physics, uh, how to control in the air. Now, this is up to you. You really have to figure out your own style of doing it that are just as effective. If you watch me ride, I'm doing almost as much in the air as I'm doing on the ground. Like I'm moving in the air, setting up for the next corner, 
trying to point my bike in the direction of the corner. And it's all this stuff is really important. So it helps with consistency if you could just have your bike stable in the air and just balancing the left and right sticks perfectly. Like for example, on this sand jump, I'm sticking outside, then I'm skying it and using the left stick to stick to the inside. Stuff like that, that you have, you could figure out. And it really helps not only drop your time, but it helps keep you consistent. Cause I noticed lots of crashes in this game are definitely due to the air physics. It's really tough it's, since it's a brand new. All right, this is another big one, the scrub cancel. Now, basically what this does is it helps you stay low without doing the whip animation. So if you watch my character here, he scrubs and then I could just bring it back on my own with full control of the bike. Now, in order to do this, you have to, let's say you're trying to scrub in like I am. You push both sticks in and then you release the right stick and keep the left stick in. And when once you have the left stick still in, then you could move it back on your own. And this is where I told you about the air physics. This is where you have to kind of bring it back your own way, figure out how to bring it back your own way consistently. And it gives you so much control over the bike. You could stay way lower and you could also scrub in sections you never thought you could scrub because you don't have to do the long whip animation to do it. It's a very important thing to do. It's been around in the game since Supercross, no, MXGP2, stuff like this. It's been, it's been in the game for a very long time. And it's just, it's always been a very helpful tool. It's not as important as it used to be because now there's free physics and stuff like that, but it still can definitely help you gain an edge and stay lower than your opponent. And if you do it right, it's just as lethal as it used to be. And yeah, I recommend giving this one a try. It really helps you stay low, especially on finish line jumps. Big triples is where you'd use it. Big triples, finish line jumps, you know, anything that's big that you over jump and want to stay low on. This is the spot to use it at. All right, this is another tip where if you have to single out of a corner, this is what I recommend you should do into the corner. You should scrub in the direction of the turn and then rotate the bike over once you're scrubbed and then full throttle out. Now scrub the way I taught you how the scrub cancel, scrub like that and then rotate the bike with the left stick. This is a really cool thing. I don't know if anyone does this. I've seen a few people do it, but I feel like I was one of the first people to come up with it that you scrub in the direction of the turn and then you rotate the bike over full throttle on the exit. It really can give you such a boost in the corner and you come out with so much speed and you also make passes with it. It's really cool if it's like before whoops section, you have so much momentum into the whoops and just pass people with that. It would definitely shave time off your lap if you could do it right. It's kind of tricky, but recommend trying it out. If you want to try it on this track, it's Scarface round one on PS4 do it on this little single into the corner it's with the where i learned how to do it and i feel like i've perfected it now and can use it in the race and it's really fun all right another tip is the wheelie scrub this is basically just a mix between the wheelie and the scrub for example if, if your wheelie if your jump is too small to wheelie and then it's also like too big to scrub you can kind of do one in between you really don't see it often because i, I don't really do it often i know people that do it a lot I'm not the best at it, but I could kind of do it. You just basically get the front end up and instead of dropping it, like I taught you earlier, just when you're about to drop it, just do the regular scrub cancel. And that's basically how you do it. It's not too hard, but it's also not easy. If you want to learn it, give it a try. Uh, it's not as, I don't think it's as, in my opinion, it's not as useful as like the other ones, but it definitely can be used. I used it a couple of times. It's, kind of, it's more of an advanced technique depending on the track. Especially if you're trying to get a, like a, a special line, it could really help you with that. Alright, this is another big one. Probably the biggest one, skimming. Now, there's lots of hate on skimming, especially on the community groups and stuff. There's definitely some division. Not everyone enjoys it. But it's definitely a part of the game that is very important to getting fast. Probably the most important out of all the techniques here, besides the whoop one probably. But... This basically all you do is just lean back into a rhythm section in a high gear. It's not complicated at all and very lethal. I'm talking like seconds you could save just by doing this. For example, here in Nashville, I'm doing it in fifth gear. The higher the gear, the, the faster you'll do it. But keep in mind, you need some speed to not bog. There's really not much to it. You just lean back with both sticks and hit click fifth gear. Click fifth or fourth. I don't recommend doing third unless it's a, a like a slower section. 
they were coming out of like a, a slow corner. It's not very, it's not very common. You see skimming in online tracks, which is probably why there's lots of online track fans right now. But in the stock tracks, you could pretty much do this some way or another in every track, and you will most likely come out fine. There's very few tracks where jumping is more important than skimming. But the good thing is it's not that hard to do. So you just lean back in a higher gear with both sticks and just kind of take it like a whoop section. It's very cheesy. I am not the biggest fan of it, but I don't not do it because I don't I don't want to be at a disadvantage. It'd be cool if we could just jump it like it's super cross, but you know, it's part of the game and if you want to learn how to do it, here it is. I know lots of people don't like to do it. Uh, I don't take any like I don't think it's in insane to do, but if you just it's kind of like a requirement if you want to compete at the top level. It sucks that it is, but it just is, you know. But that's pretty much how I do it. If you want to learn how to do it, definitely do Nashville. It's the easiest section to do. Just how I learned how to do it at first. Fifth gear, lean back. And then, yeah, just, you could do it on lots of tracks. All right, guys, that's all the tips I have for you today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I could make entire videos on anything I just listed. I know some of them are hard to explain. But, uh, yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And, yeah, I'll try getting back to them all. And catch you guys next time.